on November 8th, 2025, 3A Atlas returned to the morning sky. Telescopes on several continents recorded a quiet but distinct change in behaviour. The interstellar visitor released thin jets of plasma and gas that streamed from a faint haze around its core. It had passed the sun at the end of October with little visible activity. Now it appeared brighter than models had suggested, and it showed multiple narrow outflows, which points to more than one active region on or just beneath the surface. Around the same time, a separate newcomer called V1 Borisov appeared briefly between Earth and Atlas, and then faded from view. The coincidence drew careful attention, and prompted comparisons of images and brightness measurements taken before dawn. In this video, we outline what has been detected so far, what those images and light curves show about jet's tails and viewing geometry, and what the current evidence may imply about interstellar material moving through our system. Before we begin, please tell us where you're listening from and what time it is for you now, so we can picture how this story is being heard across your night. 3 Eye Atlas was first detected in mid-July of the year 2025 during a wide field astronomical survey that scans the night sky for moving objects. At first, it appeared as a faint wandering point of light among countless background stars. Automated systems flagged its motion as unusual and subsequent calculations revealed a hyperbolic trajectory, the kind that does not close around the sun but instead cuts through the solar system once before escaping back into interstellar space. From the moment of that first confirmation, it became clear that this was not a local comet returning on a long orbit, but a visitor from beyond. During the following months, astronomers tracked it carefully. Each week, new photometric measurements were added to the record, forming a light curve that showed only gradual change. Through late September and much of October, the object remained dim and stable, presenting a diffuse haze around its core known as the coma, but showing no clear tail. The expected period of closest approach to the sun or perihelion, was predicted for October 29th. Scientists and experienced amateur observers prepared to watch that milestone, expecting that solar heating might finally awaken the frozen material hidden inside the object. The end of October was also a period of high solar activity. The sun was near the peak of its magnetic cycle, and several coronal mass ejections were recorded moving through the inner solar system. Streams of charged particles and bursts of electromagnetic radiation were heading toward the same region of space through which the interstellar object would pass. These events provided a strong external source of energy that could interact with any volatile material on the surface. It was therefore a natural hypothesis that if anything could trigger visible activity, it would happen near or just after perihelion, when the combination of solar heat and solar wind was most intense. On the days surrounding October 29th, images from solar observatories and ground-based telescopes continued to show the object as a faint, diffuse glow. No major change was noted, and for a short time it seemed that 3 Eye Atlas might remain inactive even while passing close to the sun. Then, in the first week of November, reports began to appear from observers who noticed a small but distinct increase in brightness. The earliest confirmed change was recorded in the early hours of November 8th, when telescopes in Europe and North America captured new images showing thin streams of light extending outward from the central haze, those first photographs revealed multiple jets emerging from different points on or near the surface. The pattern did not match that of a single straight tail driven purely by sunlight pressure. Instead, it resembled a cluster of narrow outflows, some directed slightly upward or sideways relative to the sun's position. Within hours, Several independent observers confirmed the same structure. Careful examination identified at least five jets, three bright and two faint, forming a fan-like pattern that extended across tens of thousands of kilometers of space. The object's apparent brightness had risen to roughly magnitude 9.5, a significant increase from the predicted value near magnitude 11 for that date. The deviation suggested that large amounts of dust and gas were being released into the surrounding space reflecting more sunlight than expected. The sudden activation immediately drew attention across the global observing community. Data from automated sky surveys were reproduced to verify the light curve. While amateur astronomers compared exposures and alignment settings to rule out processing artifacts, the consensus emerged quickly. The interstellar visitor had indeed become active. The behavior was consistent with the rapid heating of subsurface ices 
as the object absorbed energy during its close approach to the sun. In the context of comet science, such activation is common, yet for an interstellar body it carried special significance, because it meant that researchers could now study the composition of material that formed around another star. At nearly the same time, another newly discovered object, designated Vion Borisov, was reported in a region of the sky roughly between Earth and 3E Atlas. It appeared for only a few nights before fading below the limits of detection. The timing was remarkable. To casual observers, it seemed as though one visitor had vanished while another came alive. Orbital calculations later showed that V1 Borisov followed a different path and had no physical connection to Atlas, but the coincidence added an element of intrigue to the story. It reminded astronomers how brief and unpredictable such events can be, and why rapid coordination is essential when rare interstellar travellers are observed within reach of ground-based instruments. By the 10th of November, professional and amateur observatories had gathered enough material to begin detailed analysis. The primary goals were to determine whether the increase in brightness was steady or episodic, to measure the orientation of the jets relative to the sun, and to estimate the rate at which material was being lost. Observers also hoped to detect any periodic variation that might indicate the rotation of the nucleus, since changes in light intensity over regular intervals can reveal how an object spins the combination of new outgassing and a possible rotation period would help build a model of its surface structure and internal composition. Communication between groups was constant. Images taken in Slovakia, New Mexico, and Germany were compared frame by frame to estimate the apparent motion and to compensate for differences in atmospheric seeing and local conditions. Even with small telescopes, the collective coverage created a nearly continuous record. The data showed that the jets persisted for several days and then fluctuated in strength. Possibly responding to changes in solar wind density, the photometric curve indicated that the overall brightness remained higher than expected for at least a week after the initial outburst. These findings confirmed that the activation was not a brief flash, but a sustained process. 3I Atlas was now an active interstellar comet, ejecting material in multiple directions and bright enough to be followed from the ground it became one of the most intensively monitored objects of the season. Not because it posed any risk to Earth, but because it offered a live experiment in how solid bodies from other star systems behave when exposed to our sun's environment. For the scientific community, the discovery marked the transition from detection to observation. The object had announced itself in the simplest possible way, by becoming brighter and more complex than the predictions allowed. Every new image carried information about the physical response of alien material to solar heat and radiation. Each night that it remained visible extended the opportunity to measure and compare. The task ahead was clear. Continue recording, quantify the energy output, and prepare to interpret what this rare visitor might reveal about the nature of interstellar debris. After the first reports on November 8, observations of 3I Atlas increased rapidly. Telescopes across several countries began capturing long exposure images in the hours before sunrise, when the sky was still dark enough to separate the faint glow of the object from the brightening horizon. Among those images, a sequence published by